Hi, JNM here with a beginner tutorial for Blender 2.8 and the very basics of PBR texturing. I start Blender 2.8 and add a plane. Then I select the object, switch to edit mode. Press A to select all and then S followed by 4 to scale it up 4 times. Ok, then I press U to unwrap the plane. This does a simple unwrapping for the quad. And then we are basically ready to add textures to this mesh. Here you can see three textures that I will use for texturing this plane. This is an albedo map, which is the color map, a normal map for adding height information and a roughness map, well for adding information about the roughness. I got the textures from this page, textures.com, and you have 15 credit points each day to download textures for free. For my textures I selected the PBR material section and the small horn tiles. You can get this as a real substance, but this is quite expensive as far as credit points is concerned. But you can also download the textures separately, what I did, and here you can see you can get it for an affordable amount of credits. Ok, once we have the textures, let's return to Blender and create a new material. I name this Matte Floor. And then I open a new window and then select the shader editor. To this I will add the textures, the albedo, also known as diffuse or color map, the normal map, the roughness, and the shader is the principal BSDF which is the default in Blender 2.8. Now I drag the textures from the Windows Explorer into the shader editor, first the albedo map, and for this I connect the color output to the base color input of the principal BSDF. And when I switch now to the rendered viewport, the renderer is Eevee, you can already see this albedo map on the plane. Ok, the next map that I will add is the normal map. I also drag it into the shader editor. But before we can add it to the normal input of the principal shader, we have to add a normal map node. Here it is, then I connect the color output of the normal map to the color input of the normal map node. And don't forget to set the color space of the normal map to none color. And after that I connect the normal map node to the shader. Ok, now the normal map is applied, but to see the height information better, you can increase the strength. I set it here to 10 and then you can see the height information in the 3D view. Ok, looks pretty cool already, but now I go ahead and add the roughness map to the shader editor. The roughness map is just a black and white texture, and where you have white parts you have roughness, and the black parts don't have roughness, these are more shiny, and with a certain light activated they look wet, we will see this in a moment. Now connect the roughness map to the roughness input of the principal shader and when I rotate the model a bit and increase the 3D view size, you can notice this roughness information. You can also see this roughness when I select the point light and then press G and move the mouse to move it along the plane. Ok, I also want to show you what happens when I change the size of the UV mapping so I open the UV editor. In this drop down I choose the diffuse texture. Select the plane and then go to edit mode. Then I have to enable the overlays again, so that we can see the selection. And then I press A in the UV editor to select all and after that I press S followed by 2. Now I scaled up this UV island for the plane two times and on the left side in the 3D view you can see the effect for the plane. You can do this because the texture is seamless, otherwise it's not possible. Or it is possible but looks like, yeah, you know. A very nice material and the last thing that I would like to show you is playing around with the roughness. To do this I open the shader editor again and then I go ahead and add a new node to the setup and this is a color ramp. Basically the color ramp node is used to map values to colors 
and we use it here to adjust the black and white parts of the roughness map. Okay, now I bring in more black parts to decrease the amount of roughness and make the material look more wet. It's pretty simple, but the effect is so nice. So guys, I hope you like this short introduction to Blender 2.8 texturing. It's a simple example, but these are the basics. So if you find it useful and you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Add your questions or ideas to the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for supporting me and I'll see you here on JNN.